Welcome to my review of BISC, a decentralized exchange where you can buy and sell Bitcoin without any third-party intermediaries. BISC is available for download on Windows, Mac OS, and most Linux devices, or operating systems, I should say. We'll jump into the look of BISC, the look and fill, in a moment, but first it's important to note that prior to being able to buy Bitcoin with BISCs, BISC, you must, must already have some Bitcoin in order to transact. I will link to this page about the security deposit required to buy, bit, buy Bitcoin in the description below the video. But for now, let's move on to payment methods and see the payment methods that are available when using BISC. As you can see, depending on your country, almost all of the most popular payment methods are available. BISC makes it really easy to use and transact with in a decentralized way. So if you're from the US, for example, you can use SWIFT, ACH, domestic wire transfer, Strike, US money order, Zelle, and there are a bunch of other payment methods depending on the most popular ones available for your country. Now let's jump into the actual application and see what that looks like. Here you have the sell page, the sell tab. I'm going to go through the three most important tabs, buy, sell, and account. On the sell page, this is where you would sell Bitcoin. You can create an order to sell Bitcoin, or you can accept one of these open orders to sell your Bitcoin to to buy, you can simply select one of these open orders to buy Bitcoin, or you can create your own order. Here's what it looks like to create a new order or offer to buy Bitcoin. You would enter the amount of Bitcoin you'd like to buy, the percent above or below market value, depending on if you're buying or selling. You can put zero if you would like to buy at market value and you can see the price, current price of Bitcoin on the top right, right here. And then the security deposit, which we went over on the page before, you can read about in the description below, but 15% would be the minimum, 50% the maximum. And then you go to next and you would fund the wallet on this page. You can fund the wallet two ways, by transferring funds directly from your BISC wallet, if you already have funds in your BISC wallet, in this case, we don't. So you would simply copy this address or scan this QR code to fund this wallet. And it gives you the amount needed for funds right here, funds needed. And then lastly, the account page. This is where you will add your information that's required to receive funds. And in this instance, we have Zelle already added. and you just, the only information you need to provide is your Zelle account owner name and either phone number or email address for them to send the payment to. Nothing else is required if you, in fact, choose Zelle as your method. If you choose a different method, you can do that by clicking Add New Account, and you can see you have access to all of these different payment methods here, and you can choose whichever one suits you and then fill out the required information for that payment method, and that's all you need. I hope you found this review of BISC helpful, and thank you for watching.